Hi, this is Rob Connery, and in this screencast, I will be building NerdDinner.com using ASP.NET MVC. The screencast will be a little bit over an hour, so there's a lot to show. Let's jump right into it. This is the NerdDinner.com website, and it is going to be the site that I will build today. And if you take a look at it, it's pretty basic. Uh, there's not that much information that is required to go in here. Uh, we have the concept of a dinner. Uh, each dinner can have an RSVP, one or more. Uh, this main page right here is also pretty simplistic. We just have a map, some nice JavaScript interactions, and so on. If I click on a dinner, you can see that the information that goes into a dinner is, again, fairly basic. Uh, the organizer, description, where, when, so on like that. Uh, we also have a list of who's coming, which is pretty groovy. And then finally, some flair. Uh, add to your calendar. And uh, again, this nice map. So that's pretty much it. The focus of the site is really just getting geeks together to eat. It's more or less an event management system, and uh, if you're hungry and you're a geek and you want to meet other geeks, well, this site's for you, and it's what we'll be building today. First, let's start with the tools that we're going to need here today, and the first one is Visual Studio. If you already have it, well, then you're good to go. Uh, if you don't and you just want to try this out for a little while, I would recommend heading over to Microsoft.com slash Express slash VWD and grab yourself a free copy of Visual Web Developer 2008. Uh, this is free. It's not a trial edition. It's always good and well, you can always use it. And uh, it, works, uh, it works great with ASP.NET MVC. Uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download ASP.NET MVC. And if you come over here to ASP.NET forward slash MVC, you can hit the download page and you can download it from here. If you want to shortcut all of this and not have to worry about it, what I'd recommend is you use the web platform installer. So if you click on this link, it'll head you over to the Microsoft.com forward slash web. You'll install this really cool installer. And when it comes up, it'll give you a choice of all the things that you'll need. So I've opened it up here, and it is querying the Microsoft.com forward slash web servers to find out what's cool and what's interesting to install. Now, I already have ASP.NET MVC installed on my machine, but if you didn't, you would see some cool stuff here on the front page of things that you might be interested in. Uh, so where you want to go uh, to do this all in one fell swoop, you can get MVC and Visual Studio all set up for you. So you want to click on the Web Platform tab, and then you want to click over here to Frameworks and Runtimes. Make sure you check ASP.NET MVC 1.0. Now you don't need to check this off because that will be installed with Visual Studio. Uh, next up, if we head back to Web Platform, come down to Tools, and you can click here, right here, Visual Web Developer with SP1. And you're good to go. And this will run for about, oh, 20 minutes or so as it installs everything. And while it's doing that, you can come through here and you can check out all the cool things you can add in the Web PI, Platform Installer. And there's lots of websites and cool things you can have it install for you. Downloads them, configures them, good to go. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's get moving here. We've got all our tools and we're off and running. I've got everything installed that I'm going to need now to start working with ASP.NET MVC. I've installed Visual Studio, SQL Server Express, and the ASP.NET MVC project templates. So now I'm ready to create the Nerd Dinner site. So I can go File New and select the project using my mouse and the menu, or I could be a good ninja and hit Control Shift N, which brings up the new project dialog. And here I've selected Web, ASP.NET, MVC Web Application. And so what I'm going to do is type in Nerd Dinner here. And that's going to name my project Nerd Dinner. And when I hit OK, up pops another dialog here. You can see, uh, do you want to create a unit test project? Now, testing is uh, sort of a uh, first class citizen with ASP.NET MVC. So that is why this dialog is here. It's expected that you will probably want to test what you're doing. And so you can have a choice. Uh, you can use the Visual Studio unit test framework here. Or if you have another framework installed, like XUnit, NUnit, MBUnit, whatnot, and you've hooked it into Visual Studio, uh, those might show up right there as well. For right now, we're going to choose uh, Visual Studio Unit Test. Hit OK. For those of you using Visual uh, Web Developer out there, uh, this will work as well, which is exciting. So we hit OK, and down pops our new projects. So I'm going to talk about the test project later, uh, but what I want to do right now is quickly go through uh, the new Nerd Dinner project and what it is and what you get. 
So first and foremost, let's run this thing and see how it looks. So yes, I'll modify the web config and up pops the website here and pops my browser. There we go. So you get a nice application that comes and runs straight out of the box. And uh, this is the home page. We have an about page as well that we can talk about the site. And we even have membership ready to go. We can even register if we want. And this all works, which is exciting. And so how does this all kind of hang together? Well, this is a web application project. So at its core, it is an ASP.NET site. It's one of the things we talk about all the time. That ASP.NET is greater than MVC or web forms. It is, a, it is an underlying framework that MVC is based on. So a lot of the stuff that you are familiar with already, if you're an ASP.NET programmer, is still here. OK, well, we have these things called controllers inside the controllers directory right here. We have these things called views. These are sort of immovable. You don't want to change these. This is convention based and the underpinnings of MVC expect these to be here. And so inside the controllers directory are the default controllers that you get with ASP.NET MVC, the home controller, which we were just looking at, as well as the account controller. So what is a controller? Well, a controller is essentially the thing that directs the application flow. So when a user requests a page, well, that request comes through the controller. When a user responds and enters data into a form, uh, for instance, well, that post is posted to a controller. The controller handles the flow. The views down here are solely responsible for displaying information to the user. So the controller will hand some data to the view. The view will then display it. Now I'm going to go into this in detail in just a bit. I kind of want to show you the rest of what you get here. And uh, you get some nice JavaScript uh, that we ship out of the box. Notice it's jQuery, which is pretty groovy. And also Microsoft Ajax that we use for the Ajax requests uh, that are built into the HTML helpers. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. We have a directory up here for static content like CSS and images and so forth. Uh, this is for convenience and the models folder here is also for convenience. You don't necessarily need to use this directory uh, for putting your models into. It's just kind of there uh, by convention. Well, that's about it. Uh, let's get started with building out our site. My next step here is to build out my model. And what I'm going to do today is I'm using Link to SQL for the data access, and I'd like to flex Link to SQL's code generation. I know that a lot of people have a different approach to the way they build out their model. Uh, this is a data-centric approach, and it is somewhat simplistic. And since the site is simplistic, uh, I'm going to go ahead and flex that. Okay, well, to get started, what I'm going to do is right-click on my app data folder, and I'm going to go and add a database. And you just say add new item. And it knows it's talking to the app data folder, which is exciting. So I'm going to choose a SQL Server database. And I'm just going to call this Nerd Dinner. And it gets added in. And when the database gets added in, uh, this is an actual SQL Server database, which is groovy, but it's file-based. So if you're used to using something like SQLite, uh, then this is sort of the same thing. It's located right here inside your project. It's not off on a server. Now, should you decide not to do something like this and you want to have it up on a server, it's pretty easy. You just have to change your connection string to your database and point it to a server. It's easy to do. That's inside the web config. I'll talk more about that later. Well, when I add this into the app data folder, uh, if I choose the server explorer, you'll notice now that I can work with that database uh, right away in my, uh, in my server explorer right here. So if I right click, open this thing up, down pops uh, all the different ways I can work with this thing. In fact, I can create tables right here if I like, or I can do it visually by working with the database diagrams. And I can add a diagram, and right inside here I can add a table. And when I do, I'll call it table one for right now, you can see it pop up right here. Let me collapse this. And now what I can do is I can start adding tables, I can add relationships, and so on. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, well, here's my database. As I mentioned, the Nerd Dinner site is pretty simplistic. Um, we have the notion of a dinner. We have the notion of 